Now to the latest on that deadly gang shootout in Texas. 170 bikers in custody this morning, charged in connection with the bloody brawl that left nine dead, 18 injured. There's fear of retaliation right now, and ABC's Philip Mena is in Waco with the latest. Good morning, Philip. Robin, good morning. Law enforcement here still very much on guard this morning. You know, in the wake of the shooting, a statewide bulletin was issued stating that gangs had an order to kill anyone in uniform. This morning, newly released mug shots of some of the 170 bikers taken into custody after the shootout that left nine dead and 18 injured at this Texas restaurant. They appear to include members of the notorious Bandidos, Scimitars, and Cossacks biker gangs. This video shows the chaos unfolding, violence starting in the restroom and quickly spilling out into the parking lot. The bikers using brass knuckles, knives, chains, clubs, and guns. 170 individuals have been charged with engaging in organized crime in reference to a capital murder case at Twin Peaks. Cops lining up the gang members on the curb, loading them into buses and squad cars, each gang member being held on a $1 million bond. Investigators were still processing the crime scene Monday, gathering evidence with snipers on the lookout. Are you worried at all about possible retaliation? Certainly something that we are aware of. Edward Winterhalder was a member of the feared banditos for six years. They lost something in their childhood, and in the motorcycle club they find uh, a sense of family that they never had. He's written 10 books on biker culture. He says for bikers, territory is everything. I think the potential for more violence is there. The Benditos have a saying, cut one, we all bleed. The ruthlessness featured on the show Gangland. Pass us on the highway, that would be a mistake. Charles Falco is a former ATF contractor who spent years trying to take out these gangs. He requested we not show his face. At least half of them are involved in some sort of constant criminal activity. According to the Department of Justice, there are more than 300 so-called outlaw motorcycle gangs across the country with thousands of members. But the Bandidos, along with four other biker gangs, are classified as the serious national domestic threat. The feds say involved in everything from drug trafficking to prostitution. Two big questions this morning. How will prosecutors try all 170 people in custody? And will they pursue the death penalty? George? Okay, Philip, thanks very much.